Hey everybody, Drew Reese Apiary here. Today, let's see, it is April the 10th. We are going out here today. I mainly want to work on those two little nooks right there. If you remember from the last video, the green one was at a different location for a week. Gave the old green queen time to reset there and then we returned her. Today I'm going to do an inspection on both of those two just to see if either of them are ready to get moved into a bigger 10 frame box. I've got a 10 frame box already picked out. I don't know if I'm going to be moving them into it just yet. You know, it's one of those uh, situations where, you know, until the nectar flow actually comes in, it's kind of hard to determine if the bees are going to draw a lot of wax. You know, we're right on that cusp of the bees doing a good job of drawing the wax pretty easily. And a lot of that's going to be dependent upon the nectar flow. Um, I have been bucket feeding sugar like a one-to-one -one sugar syrup the past two weeks in preparation for the flow i'm thinking i might do another week's worth of feeding because i really do think the flow is right around the corner we're probably one to two weeks out we just had a really weird cold spell this uh weekend here in georgia where temperatures got down into the mid third mid high 30s so looking at the forecast moving forward hopefully it stays that way you know if it does great but i say all that if if we were going to continue to have cooler weather i wouldn't want to move a five frame nook into a 10 frame box if they didn't have enough bees to not only fill it but insulate it etc so right now it's looking like we should be okay with that i'm going to take a check either way and see if they are ready and make a determination based on that otherwise these other hives like i said green was queenless because obviously we took the green queen so um, there's a chance we have a Virgin Queen in the green hive now. Blue and yellow, just double checking, making sure that they, the swarm impulse is still gone. Uh, last week when I was here, um, there was a few cups, but nothing in them. It seemed like the, the impulse had died down, but that doesn't mean it couldn't change. And then red hive, obviously last week, if you remember, I was looking for my hatched queen, because I know we probably had one in there. Uh, did not find her, but again, I expected her to be pretty small, being such a newly hatched queen. So. Uh, today I might do a little bit better of a check. So that's pretty much what we're going to be doing today. So hopefully I'm not out here too long. Most of the time is going to be spent making a determination on those two. Uh, realistically, the green one, I might just take a peek. And then, like I said, that's pretty much it for today. So without further ado, I'm going to get to work. Um, probably put it in the time lapse again and I'll stop the video if anything is worth mentioning to you all as I'm working. So obviously, maybe you could tell from the time lapse, but the uh, old Green Queen, I decided to promote her into a full 10 frame box. I mean, they were pretty packed, tons of brood. They're going to be exploding, I feel like, in the next, you know, week or two. And they're going to outgrow that little five-frame nook here real quick. So, we have now dubbed her the Orange Queen. The old original green is now orange. And just doing that, I mean, it probably makes more sense to give her the green rock. But for sake of color coding and everything, we'll just leave that green. And now this old green queen shall, for now on, be known as the Orange Queen until they either super cedar and make a brand new orange queen or whatever we decide but that's gonna be our newest hive and then this little one right here that's the old red queen i'm also upgrading to a 10 frame box because they are packed full of bees awesome brood pattern i mean let me see if i can get this in the light i'm gonna set this down so you guys can see this and again this is an old queen this is a queen that's a little over a year old so you can blow some air if you guys can see that but i mean that's a awesome brood pattern right there tight lots of fresh eggs so they're getting a new box as well so i'm getting them all squared away now they will not have a apame bottom because i only had five apame bottoms maybe eventually i'll get others because again i do like them but as i've mentioned in other reviews they are very expensive so you do get what you pay for though they're, they're amazing but you know it's not a uh it's not a cheap venture to make your apiary full of those so 
just keep that in mind if that's something you ever decide you want to do. So right now I'm just taking all these frames out. I don't know if you can see me doing this, but I'm just working along, trying to get these, all these things moved. And then we'll put the solid bottom board 10 frame box up there. And again, I don't know what color I'm going to give it. Maybe I'll leave the red rock on there for now, just so I know that that's the, the old one. But I just decided to use the the Aphame bottom with the orange because I already had it. So that's why we made that one into from green into orange. So I'm going to just keep working on this, keep moving bees over, and then get that set up. And then I might steal some frames. I'm going to I'm short some some blanks. I may have to steal some from one of the stronger yellow or blue hives and bring them over here so that way they're relatively full out but more to follow on that. So you probably could tell in the time lapse. I was just working a lot on the yellow hive, mainly because if you remember from my previous videos, that was always a double deep um, body. It's always been one of my stronger hives. And today was a great example of what to do when you equalize. I basically went through that entire second deep up top and coincidentally, that's where the yellow queen was. She was, she was massive. It's been a, lot, a little bit of time since I last saw her, but um, you know, made sure I put her under control by putting her in a little queen clip. You know, took her out, started going through frame by frame, and basically I wanted to get rid of that second deep hive body. Um, so that way all my hives are pretty consistent across the board of being a deep on the bottom and then supers up top. And so <clears throat> I picked it clean and was able to equalize it for our two new hives over there. So basically I was moving everything from honey and brood and food and you name it so that way orange and right now the mini it's still got the little red rock on top of it i'll probably choose a new hive color for that here pretty soon um, but we'll leave it as the little red rock right now um, but those are a great example of equalizing taking resources from this super strong yellow one I and mean, you can see how many bees are hanging around on the outside right now they just they were just overflowing um, I saw a few cups. I didn't see any uh, cells or anything like no, you know, no eggs laid in there. <laughs> um, you know, again, it, I, I've been fighting both the blue and the yellow for a bit on preventing them from swarming, but nothing that was saying that they were right around the corner, anything like that. So I just wanted to get rid of, you know, equalize them out, give those resources to them because honestly, I bet you by next week when I'm out here, because the amount of brood they've gotten there even that hive's gonna be fully filled up. So they don't have a lot of wax they need to draw out in there right now because so many of those frames came out of that yellow hive. So I'll probably be adding a super to them next week. I don't wanna do it just yet. I don't wanna give them too, too much space too quickly, but a lot of that brood in there is gonna start hatching and they're gonna start getting pretty filled out you know, here very shortly. So I'm gonna just quick do a check on blue hive real quick. Because again, we should still have our original queen in there as well. Make sure no signs of swarming. And then I'm probably going to leave green alone today. Uh, there's really no... It, green's in the same situation that red was in last week. Where, you know, there very well probably is a, a virgin queen in there. But I don't want to be hunting for something that might take too long. Maybe next week I'll hunt for her. But this week, you know, after, after I do blue real quick, I might take a peek inside red and see if I see any eggs being laid. Cause now's a really good, uh, there's a real good chance that we could have a queen in there um, laying eggs. So we're gonna take a look and see what we have. But I'm saying I'm gonna put it back on time lapse, do blue real quick and then move on.
all right everyone that's pretty much it for today um you probably saw through the time lapse kind of what i was going through with each hive i will say looking through the red still did not see a queen i didn't see like you know laid eggs which is very disappointing i was definitely coming out here expecting to see that because there's been i feel ample amount of time i'll have to go through my notes to look exactly how much time has passed since i saw the original queen cells that had hatched open um because again there's there's been, definitely been enough time for a new queen to have been created but we're not seeing evidence of one in there yet i saw there's two more eggs in there that were sealed that were queen eggs and i saw another one that was opened up so again we could have an after swarm situation and it's just you know there are a, a couple groupings of queens that came out and left but i do find that very surprising it's not impossible it's just it's not what i expected i really expected i'm uh i really expected to see fresh eggs and larva today we just did not see that it's possible there's a queen running around there because again i saw another open cell but who knows um I'll, i know this much for sure by this time next week from a week from today there's no other eggs in there to make a new queen with so if nothing changes between now and then uh, we're going to be in a situation where essentially we're going to have to borrow brood from another hive and uh, that's definitely not what we want to do because that red hive is basically honey bound right now which means pretty much all they're doing with their time is just collecting honey uh, i'm sorry collecting nectar to make honey um so yeah, that's kind of where we're at right now. Um, like I said, we didn't go inside green because we're pretty sure they're kind of similar to red in that you know we took the old queens from both of them. They're probably in the process of making a queen, but wasn't gonna open them up and take a look. Uh, so yeah, like I said, it was a overall not a bad day. I mean, it was productive, it was a little disappointing. I was definitely looking forward to seeing that red queen, but that's the way she goes. So we'll check again a week from today and then I'll update you then. Hope you all have a great week. Take care. See you next time.